Hi everyone, um, my name is Eilish and this is Alicia and we're um, from Interior Environmental Design at Duncan and Jordan College of Art and Design in Dundee. Um, last year we hosted Jeep 2012 and the brief was inspired by the new VA Museum designed by Pengo Kuma to be built in Dundee. Um, this was also the inspiration behind all of our studio modules for the Jeep projects um, Design in Action. Design in Action is an innovative scheme which encourages collaboration between creative education and the creative industry. Um, our brief at um, Duncan of Jordanson uh, for the Design in Action project was called Workplace 2030. Um, our challenge was to design a workplace of the future, um, either for a single um, discipline or a multiple discipline um, for one of the creative industries, which was innovative and challenged current workplace stereotypes. The site we were given is a disused jute mill in Dundee. Textiles once was once a booming industry in Dundee, but now we are left with many empty mills. The site is situated outside the city centre of Dundee, with views onto the Tay, and it's very close to the new v &A. The start of our process begins with research, both primary and secondary research. We try to communi communicate research in a visual way, using particle diagrams, mind maps, sketches and photography. Another criteria is to network and make connections. It is important to talk to the client. We, sp we spoke to the designers to get an insight into how they work and design around this. <coughs> So the next stage in our process is sketching. Um, this is important for the designer because it allows you to explore and record your initial ideas, but also important to show the client um, your ideas in a more personal and expressive way. Um, then sketching is translated into some 3D forms, um, which we would call emotive making. Um, this helps us to explore our sketches in a more spatial way. Um, and also a chance to experiment creatively with materials and different techniques. Um, from our emotive models, we take any interesting shapes, uh, lines and other positive spatial qualities. Um, these are often translated into the final design and models. Uh, the models like emotive, uh, our emotive models can still be made with a variety of materials and um, can either be very expressive um, or also more precise laser cut models. Um, they're effective at quickly communicating uh, to your client of any kind um, your spatial content. So this is some of our final outcomes. Firstly, this is Jordan's project. He redesigned the creative workspace for an advertising agency. He looked at the negative stigma surrounding advertising and how he could design, how his <coughs> design could change his perception. This brings me to my project. This, uh, I aim to recreate the traditional textile mill and bring it to the future. This is an incubator centre for textile designers and graduates to build connections the creative, in a creative community. It shows the value of the creative industry by encouraging the public, funders and businesses to come together. <coughs> Shona based her design on the fact that it is predicted that architecture industry we know today will have a significant change. Architects will be forced to design with the client instead of for the client. Shona's design includes many spaces where, the, where people can work together. Um, my project was um, studios and social networking spaces for textile artists and designers, students and also industry and a place for them to work, be inspired and make valuable connections. For the design of the spaces I looked at the commonalities between architecture and textiles and used the metaphor of weave to describe how I wanted the space to bring all of these groups together. Um, this is Sam, uh, it's a workplace designed for craftspeople by Minhee. Um, Sam means three in Korean and this is the basis of the concept. Designed for textile, metal and paper craft 
with three types of spaces, exhibition, private studios and also communal studios. SAM encourages collaboration as well as giving craftspeople a platform to exhibit and to sell their work. And finally, Ola designed a workspace which explored the different stages of the creative process in her design, Dyer. Exploration, conceptualisation, implementation and expression. <coughs> it shows the different stages of the creative process to the public to, to provide a greater understanding and appreciation of the creative industry. Our course is very diverse and we are involved in a variety of projects. This was our furniture project. We were put into teams and we, were, and we firstly designed the chairs together and then followed it through and built them in the workshop to create these final outcomes. This is our expressive technical drawing. This is an important skill to have. We started with learning very standard technical drawing skills through the refill chair. We, we expressed ourselves creatively while keeping the simple principles of creative drawing. All of us have a wide range of interests within both art and design, um, from photography to sculpture, animation to installation. We're encouraged to allow these to influence and explore um, our projects, especially in the initial stages, and they're usually which we they are usually what makes our final outcomes more personal to us. Um, <laughs> um, in Craig's project um, for Design in Action, he considered the benefits of collaboration and the creative community coming together around the creative table. We thank Libyana for the invitation to dinner and look forward to joining at the table to create some new and exciting ideas. Thank you.